God rest his soul. So you confirm that the late father in law and the mother in law were not present. They were not present. Can you identify the siblings of Senator by name? Yes, I can. Give the names. The people who are not present. Um, all the names? All of them? Yes. Charles Kenyo. Doris Kajuju. So, all these siblings that you have managed to recall at the very difficult time, like now, were not present. You were asked a question about cousins. Yes. Didn't you see the cousins of Mithika and Tool present? I did mention that I do not know all the cousins, so I do not tell whether any of the ones who came were cousins or not. The best of those ones you know, did you see? Any cousin present? The, the ones that I know, no, but I do not know whether the ones who came are cousins. Or Those ones you know, you never saw any of them. Your wedding was conducted under what law? It was conducted under the Nandi uh, As the question you asked. Yes. Under which law? And then the Nandi Castro. You might not know, but you can comment on it. Is it a condition for those siblings, parents, and cousins to attend? I did mention that it is not a condition. It's not a condition. So it's not a, a mandatory condition. It's not a requirement. Thank you. You are asked. The attendance of one Mr. Kailanya? Yes, Kailanya. Kailanya? Yes, I will ask that question. You are aware about that question? Yes, I am. Did Mr. Kailanya attend the function? Um, initially, I had mentioned orally that he attended, but I corrected the situation to say that I now recall, I could now recall that he did not attend, but his wife attended the function. Is there any evidence to show the attendance of the wife? Yes, there is. Okay. As the evidence is being sought, do you know? Your Honor, there was no question as to whether the wife attended. The question was very specific. The witness had testified in chief that Kailanya was there. She was asked to confirm. Uh, in cross examination, that he was there, and only changed her story when we told her we have the passport of Kailanya to show he was in the United States. At no time did we raise the issue as a defense whether Kailanya's wife was or was not there. Well, I move away from that. You were asked a question about one side as Kamuyu. 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 Yes. And you asked whether Juan Silas Kamui attended the function. Yes, which I confirmed that he did. You did confirm that he did? Yes, that he did attend the function. You were asked about this witness. Is he going to testify? I was asked and I said he had been threatened, so he was not going to testify. Who has threatened one Silas Kamui? I 
I mentioned that we think that today at present. And it is your evidence that Silas Kimui Kamui was in attendance. Yes, it's my evidence was in attendance. You also asked about one Rufus Meriti. Yes, I was. True? Yes, I was. Did he attend the function? Yes, he was the head of the delegation. He was the head of the delegation. Yes. And you what did you answer? Is he going to testify in this matter? I also said he was not going to testify because the other should be the other be threatened. You were asked whether you have any evidence that uh, Mr. Lenturi has threatened. Yes, I was asked that question. Yes, what is your answer? The answer I gave then is that I already uh, done, I have already done an affidavit to confirm the same, that the witnesses have been threatened. How many witnesses were you going to call from the large Ameru County? You have a list? The court can rely on that to save on time. Yes. Thank you. Then you were told that Mithika Liputuri did appear. If he appeared in Nandi, he must have appeared in his functions as a politician. You remember that question? Yes. Um, I don't know if that is how the frame of the question was. Let's repeat it again. Council put it to that if at all Mithika Linturi appeared in Nandi, he must have appeared in his official capacity as a, as a legislator. Okay, yeah. You remember that question? Yes, yes sir. What is the true position in regard to this matter before this court? He came to the function as uh, to seek a hand in marriage, my hand in marriage. Came to seek a hand in marriage. Did he visit Nandi? Where Nandi means your house, your home. I'm not talking about Nandi, the whole county. Did he ever visit your home? on his official capacity? No. No, it was in his official capacity. As an MP? Yes. Yeah. No. And he has several roles? No. Yes. No. He visited your home as who? As, uh, at the time of this uh, function, he was coming as uh, the man seeking a hand in marriage. Thank you. You are given a document called the original divorce petition you filed in here. Yes. Look at it. Uh, she can at most, uh, in my view, uh, confirm that the rituals were performed, but the nitty gritty of uh, what constitutes what and the implications of uh, those rituals uh, can only be dealt with by the expert witness who she stated uh, she has lined up as a witness. As regards Professor Rajakoyo's uh, sentiments, I hold that uh, it hasn't gotten there in my view. This court has not detected any reaction or behavior uh, on the part of the witness to warrant the court to make such drastic orders. Uh, I want to leave it at that for now, and then we proceed. Thank you. Honest, so that I don't keep interjecting because it's truly my nature. I don't like interrupting when uh, my colleagues are examining. Luckily, we live in a digital world. We spent two hours and a quarter close examining this witness, and on 99% of all the questions I asked, she refused to answer. I'm only saying this so that I wouldn't have to stand again. It cannot be that now that it is in the examination, those questions she refused to answer, she is now happy to start answering those questions. Because then, having been denied the answers I was seeking by her refusing to answer those questions, it is an unfair advantage.
for right now or not, even on the things we've done today, she was very happy to speak about documents she was disowning yesterday extensively in re-examination. And the problem is you deny the other side the chance to test the veracity. So if she refused to answer questions yesterday, today is not the time to answer those questions through re-examination. Okay. Those that uh, were reserved for and not answers uh, in the form of another witness will come and uh, clarify. Yes. Direct answers which she replied to questions asked substantively. Those ones she can answer. Okay. Otherwise, we have an opportunity of bringing the other witnesses to clarify what she did, uh, was not within her knowledge or what she could not handle because she's not an expert in that. Thank you. My learned friend asked you about the specific day that the marriage was conducted. <coughs> and which answer did you give? I informed him that on initially the plan was supposed to be on the 16th of April. But That's an explanation. Yes. When was the marriage conducted? 26th of March. 26th of March. 2016. Yes. You were shown a document called an invitation. Yes. Have the, have, have the document, the invitation card document. Twenty-six March of twenty-six. Twenty-six. It's marked MJK twelve. MJK twelve. Yes. You are heavily cross-examined on that. True. Yes, I was. Start from the top. What is the heading in that document? It's written engagement invitation. Yeah. Engagement invitation. Engagement invitation. Proceed. We, the family of the late Frederick Kitan and Mrs. Rhoda Kitan in Bracket Kapchombe of Kapchemosin Village, Kaboy location, Nandi County, cordially invites. Then it has uh, uh, the connotation to use. And then uh, after that, to an engagement and farewell party of Miss Marianne Chebet Kitan and Honorable Mithika Lintuni, which will be held at their home ground on 16th April 2016, starting at 10 a.m. Be my guest. Then this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118, verse 24. Welcome. Then in Kalenjin, Koito Akchai, Faibayen Tab Negigo Sinto, Frederick Kitan, and Mrs. Rhoda Kitan, Cap Chombe, Chebago Kweta Cap Chemosin, Kaboy Location, Nandi County, Potaj, and then uh, the names of the people, and Koito, Akchai, Ab, Miss Marianne Jebet Kitan, Ab, Honorable Mithika Nituri, Netul Mite Enka Tarik Tamanaglo, sorry, 16th April 2016, Kongete Sai Tangwan, Nebogarun, Koto Agotin Tubu. RSVP, Marianne Kindly confirm that that document is written in English and in Kalenji. Yes, I have read it in English and in Kalenji. Kindly confirm that the document was sent in both languages to yes. the, the people who are invited. Yes, it was. When is the invite? Which date are people invited? Uh, they, as per the document, they were invited on the 16th of April 2016. 16th of April? 2016. 2016. Did they come on the 16th of April? No, they did not come on the 16th of April. What happened? Because the date was changed from an earlier date. And uh, the earlier date that was changed to was 26th of March, 
2016. So the date was changed to which date? 26th of March 2016. Under what circumstances? Because uh, the people from Meru wanted to take advantage of the Easter holiday because of the distance they were going to cover. And Easter happened to have been uh, 25th to 28th of March 2016 in that year. So we, they had to push forward the date so that they can be able to travel back and forth. Who are these people you are calling Meru? Mithika Nituri told me that his people from Meru would be coming and therefore he needed to that period, the change, the date could be changed to an earlier date. It is evidence that the request for change of date was done by who? How was the request conveyed? I then conveyed the same request. How was the request of Medica conveyed to you? We talked about it. How? Say pillar talk. It's no more the husband or uh, spouse, uh, not husband, but uh, uh, conversation between two people who are engaged. There was no document requesting for change of date. No, there wasn't. Your Honor, we have a problem. That was the time you had that. What is the position? The position is I'm not doing sofa, and um, I still confirm that we went to sofa the two of us on a willing. Willing basis, so they have to use the time willing by willing seller, but we, we need to go to some <laughs> <laughs> on our own terms. <laughs> Thank you. You have come to this court. Is that the final for prayers? Yes. You have come before this court for prayers. Yes, True? Yes, I have. What prayers are you seeking for this honorable court? The prayers I'm seeking is for divorce um, from this, the marriage between myself and Nitika Nituri. Have you sat with Mr. your husband, Mr. Linturi, frankly, and agreed to divorce? No, we have not. We have not sat at that. Have you been forced or coerced to come to this court to seek for divorce? Have you filed any matter in this country or any other country globally for the divorce of one Franklin Nikika Lejuri? No, I have not. You have never filed any matter anywhere. Are you seeking for any costs in this matter when the court decides? Yes, I am. You'll be seeking for costs. Kindly. Those are the prayers you are seeking before this court. Yes. <coughs> I don't see a ring on your finger. Part of my, part of my. Uh, um, I don't think this is uh, necessary. 
clearly never arose in uh, frozen rumination. Uh, I thought there was a series of last questions, but because I thought they were routine, I didn't even want to interject. But now, the serious matter is being alleged that the ring was stolen. Uh, I mean, there's a criminal offense. All right. You were asked about a matter, my good Wakili Anita Masaki has reminded me. Sorry, Your Honor, for being not ordered. 1044. You remember the orders of 1044? Yes. You remember the protection orders that you were given? Yes. Why were you given protection orders? That is what Mr. Mudomi asked you. Yes. True. You can clarify why. I was given the orders from because of protection, uh, protection from domestic violence, and uh, that domestic violence is what we experienced on the 19th of December, when um, we think and we took it together with wounds and uh, a couple of people escaped to the house. That line of answering it because the question was either yes or no, that by elaborating into what was not there before, that opens up the need for us also to question for that topic. And it's not even true, Your Honor. Those orders were issued way back in October, ex parte. They were actually ex issued ex parte. So we don't want to go there. I don't think it helps anything, so let's avoid the necessary discomfort. Yes. yes in, in any event, let's wind up. We have to reach the tail end. Very well. Very well. Very well. You have condolences for the letter, sir? No, 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 no. Let's not go there. I do not rule on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my aunt wanted to pass no, 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 no. I But the court had already ruled that we, we can do... Those ones you can do out there. We can do the condolences. If you meet on the road. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps she can look for the rest of the It may save us all the trouble dealing with this problem. She can look for the rest of them and convey the condolences. She will you look down and you can even see she's yes. in a morning dress. Yes. You know, I can also affirm that yesterday she went there. So she ought to have done it there. No, the rest of them was not <laughs> But she <laughs> and she's in a morning dress, yes. but uh, your condolences I passed them yesterday. Thank you. you know that is the end of the the plaintiff's case as PWR. We have, can I have a seat? We have other witnesses. 22 in number, but we will scale them as we proceed. We are ready to proceed with the second of this.